On a regular basis, I use Easy Stamps Rapid Multi Entry, uh, RME in short, to enter my purchased year sets. So I thought I would share this with you today. We've had several customers ask us about, ask us about the use of uh, the RME feature, so we will, uh, we'll do this video for you. This is a very powerful feature to allow you to enter thousands of stamps with a few mouse clicks, but it's important to understand its proper use. It can be used to quickly enter a range of stamps for any given country. I'll be demonstrating with the France database today. Let's enter all the stamps issued for the years 1990 to 1992. I have those year sets that I want to inventory anyways. So we start the RME from the edit menu. You can also use the shortcut keys of shift F10. And you'll be presented with this uh, initial screen so that you can set your, uh, your filters. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the years of 1990 to 1992 and click find and it found 217 entries and we'll click begin RME which brings up the second screen that allows you to enter certain criteria. Um, at any time you can hit F1 on your keyboard which I'll do for you and that'll bring up the context sensitive help so that you can uh, read more details or you can go to the uh, PDF manual and, and read it in full. So all the stamps that are entered during the RME process are entered exactly the same way. So first what we're going to enter are grade and quantity. In this case I'll enter them as uh, uh, mint never hinged very fine. So I just select it here. And then um, there are many options that you can set, but we'll leave them at the default. The default one that usually comes up is do not update inventoried records, but um, we're going to leave it there for now because I don't have any inventory in the system yet. So these are very important options that you need to familiarize yourself depending on what you're trying to do with RME. If you have already have entered inventory into your database, the first option is the most commonly used, which is the one I have selected, do not update already inventory records. You can fill in the buy dates and uh, buy from and many other details as you need. For now, I'm just going to leave them, uh, leave them blank. So once you're sure of your settings, you click begin. And they've now been inventoried. And then we will run um, a quick stats one report to list all the stamps we just entered. We should see the 217 that we, uh, that we selected. So I'm going to run the QStats report. And there's all the entries that we made. And there's our 217 entries. Now, let's say you made a mistake, and instead of entering them as mint never hinged, you actually wanted to enter them as very fine used. Now, you could edit each one of these stamps one at a time, but that would be very tedious and take a long time. Instead, you can run the rapid multi-entry again and select a different option, namely the replace grades uh, data in inventory records. So I'll show you how to do that. You go to Edit, Rapid Entry. We're going to leave it at 1990 to 1992 and click Find. And then this time what we're going to do is we're going to click on Replace Grades rather than uh, the option that we previously had. So this time I'm going to replace it with Used Very Fine instead of Mint Never Hinge which is what we had originally done. And click Begin. And it's now done. So we run that quick stats report again. And now you can see they have all been re-entered as used. Now another option is to use the um, add to existing grades in inventoried records. This could be useful if you now let's say you purchased the the year sets as mint never hinged. 
So we can just add, go back to the rapid entry. And this time we're going to select add to existing grades. So this time we're going to add mint never hinged, let's say extra fine. Click begin. And when we run our report, we can actually run the line item report this time. You can see that for every re every stamp, let me pull this on screen, you can see that we have them as mint never hinged and used for every single stamp, which is what we had asked it to do. We can do the same thing with using the quick stats report. So total quantity of two, two, one mint, one used. Now, another option um, available in the RME is to regrade inventory records. Let's say you had intended to enter the used stamps as used extra fine instead of very fine. Again, you could go back and edit each one, but that would just take a long time, and especially if you have thousands of stamps to do. So if we use what we call the regrade option, so I'll start the rapid entry again. And this time we're going to select regrade. So in this option, what you do is you, you choose the grade that you want to replace. So in our case, we had entered them as used very fine. And I'm now going to change it to used extra fine and click begin. It's done it. And if we run that line item report again, you'll see all the used stamps have been changed to used extra fine. The mint never hinge stamps were never touched. It's highly recommended that before you use the RME process that you perform an easy stamp backup for your data because if you're not familiar with the use of the RME, you can inadvertently add thousands of stamps and the only way to recover is with the backup and restore process or you manually go back and edit thousands of records. That's not the best way to do it. Um, if you subscribe to our cloud backup, you can also back up, you should also back up to the cloud for the country you're, you, uh, you're working with. Another way to use the RME is from most reports and easy stamp. Um, let's say, let's, let's run a want list right now. So I'm going to do a want list and let's do it for 1980 to 1984 and click show. So these are all the stamps that were missing from 1980 to 1984. I'm just going to pick a few. You can left click on one and then just drag, or you can left click and then control click on you know other ones that you may or may not want. So once you've selected the stamps that you want, in this case I've picked up five. If you click on this icon right here, which is the rapid entry icon, It'll bring you back to the rapid entry screen that we had. And then you could enter these as mint never hinge very fine. We can add to existing or replace or don't update inventory. And since I don't have them, I'll use that. And uh, we'll begin. And if we run our QStats report again, you'll see there they are, they were added. So we're now sitting I think 222 or yeah 422 439 okay I recommend that you use the rapid multi entry as you can save a lot of time especially where you are entering a long long run of stamps at once I use it all the time when I inventory my year sets, but you must familiarize yourself with its use so you're comfortable with it. Read the help and manual and watch the videos. The last thing I'm going to do is show you um, another thing that I uh, do with the rapid entry is we had a customer recently call us that he had forgot to enter the location in a bunch of stamps that he had entered. So again, you can just use the rapid entry choose the criteria that you want and then what you want to do is 
you want what you want to do is um, add to the existing grades and inventory records but do not change anything on this side all you have to do is just change the location so let's say it was in your international volume 5 which is what I use for my French collection and then just you can fit out other things like if you bought this from you know eBay let's say and then click begin and now you'll see that each of those stamps that I had asked for So if you look at them on the main screen now, they all have the location. So I hope this has uh, been useful for you. Enjoy and stay safe. Bye for now.